you guys ready for our series two in our series of how to live stream your DJ set out to the world and specifically today we're going to be going from our home using OBS so we're showing you how to install OBS and how to connect up your devices and uh, and then we're going to show you how to get it into the world and so let's just get started. And don't forget to uh, subscribe if you like this channel. We're always bringing you fun things like this. And go ahead and like, leave your comments, ask me any questions. Uh, we're gonna be doing a, this is a three part series on how to live stream your DJ set. And this is number two, and uh, let's get to it. So people have been asking me like, how are we gonna do this? And I'm just gonna draw it out here real quick. All right, let's go here. So let's see if we can see this. So we're gonna talk about all the different sections that we have. And um, so first of all, let's just say we have our home here. This is home. And on here, we're DJing and we're sending it through OBS. So what we're going to do is normally you could send this right to DLive. So let's put uh, DLive out here. And DLive is essentially just another flavor of uh, Twitch or YouTube streaming or Facebook streaming. They're all kind of doing the very similar thing. So in general, like you can stream right from your home to DLive and DLive out to uh, the, the multimedia console in Altspace. But here, what we're gonna do is we're, we're actually throwing a big event and we're gonna have multiple DJs. And this is okay when you get to hear um, And that's the um, alt space multimedia console. And then inside of alt space, and it's going to be connecting the D live stream to the video screen in alt space. And normally you could go right from OBS to DLive, DLive to the MMC console, and the MM go into the world and hit play, put in your code out here, and that's how you play that. But here what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in multiple DJs. So let's just have uh, DJ two, DJ three, and we're gonna put a streaming server in between of those RTMP and here we're going to stream to here and we're going to put another OBS server in between and these are going to go into here and we're going to hook up the one two three streams and then one stream comes out of the OBS server, so this is in an office, or it can be a data center. And uh, this server is in DigitalOcean. So what we're doing is we're loading up all three different DJs at the same time, and uh, we're mixing them. So essentially we're gonna turn on one, and then fade into the next one, turn off the next one, fade into the next one, and then um, we're constantly sending that signal to DLive. That DLive signal is constantly sending to the Altspace MMC, the multimedia console. Okay, great. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty of this and I'm gonna show you how we are using multiple OBS uh, computers or servers that are streaming to a streaming service and then restreaming it over to DLive. So what we did was that we built 
a custom RTMP server and that's what we use to do our stream settings and I'll show I'll show you that in a second um, but this is the it's a it's an nginx RTMP Ubuntu server it's not even that big um, it, we, sh we only expensive. but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up um, uh, the multimedia console so we're gonna go over here go into our event events so I'm setting this up in um, an event that's happening on Friday but we're setting it up now okay let's enter Let's walk over to the stage here. Here's Camp uh, Burning Saucer. See that? Camp Burning Saucer. This is put on by an awesome world builder uh, named Cause. And he is letting us use this world. Hey, Kevin. Now, I'm going to switch you over to see what the DLive looks like so we can switch over to this. Let's... And then in Altspace, you connect a uh, multimedia connector or multimedia screen and you put in the code and uh, we'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we're back in Altspace here. I'm going to click on play. And let's see what we get here. It streams up to our custom RTMP server. Then we have a secondary OBS server. Takes that stream in, streams it out to DLive. Then we go on to the uh, multimedia console and enter in the information. It gives us a code and we put it in here. And that is how we are able to do all this. So thank you very much for checking this out. I hope this has been kind of a, a nice insight into this. One of the nice things about this, the reason that we're sending it through the other server is because we have, a, we have four other artists who are going to be coming on. And instead of changing up the screen every time they come on, we're just going to go in and we're going to change the scene um, in our OBS. And in that way, the show will never stop. It'll just keep on going. So, um, so we'll wrap it up here. And you guys might have some questions about this. Feel free to drop them down below in the comments. And, um, and we'll help you get connected too. All right, I'll talk to you soon. So I, I know that kind of sounds like a lot. There's all these different hops. But the amazing thing is, is what you gives us up and running. You can throw a, an event for the entire evening with different artists, different DJs, different musicians, and it can all stream into an, a world into alt space. So let me just show you a little bit about the scenes I have set up right now. Okay, so now we are on our OBS on the main system that you remember us setting up here. And right now we are just, all we are streaming is this video right here. And you can see I can either turn it on or turn it off. We have a couple of logos up there. And if I go into the settings here, uh, and this is, this is streaming out right now. And we're gonna switch over to here. And as you can see, this is uh, that same stream is coming in right now and if you look at here so I'll show you right here I go to properties we're doing something called um, a VLC 
So what we're doing here is a VLC video source and we put in the stream right here. Go back to here and we are going to switch over to let's see we should be streaming live now so we're going to switch over to we're going to switch over to uh back to alt space here so i call that a win-win situation and um that's it for us today thank you very much uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below leave your comments down below and uh, we're going to have the series three on how to live stream and that is how to set up this green screen behind us because it seems like it's an easy thing but believe it or not it was much more difficult than i could have imagined um, and i'm so happy that i have it now because i get to always do these different recordings and play out and invite djs over here and uh, it's just been a great experience. So again, my name is Peter Jopes. I'm your IT consultant. This has been how to live stream your DJ set out to the world. And uh, have a great day. Thank you. Peace out.